In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a beautiful pair of Egyptian link earrings. Really nice earrings. Beautiful complement to the Egyptian link necklace. I've already seen my video on the Egyptian link necklace. I recommend watching it because it gives detailed instructions on how to create the Egyptian links that you see here. These earrings are made in sterling silver. And the tools are the same that you've been using with all the earrings that I make. Pair of jewelry pliers, flat nose pliers, also called chain link pliers. These are quite old. I've had these since graduate school. pair of cutters and my round nose pliers. The Egyptian link earring also involves the construction of a coil. Coil is a nice decorative element that is attached to the last link in the pair of earrings. And this is the simple tool that I've created to make the coil. It's a simple tool. I drove a finished nail into a cut off piece of branch. And I'll wrap my wire around it to create the coil. And I'll, I'll show you that in a bit. To make the earrings, I'm using nickel silver wire 18 gauge. And the last thing you'll need is a ruler to measure out the length of wire. So let's begin. I'll put my finished pair of earrings aside. And now we'll begin the construction of a new pair of Egyptian link earrings. The first thing I do is I measure out my wire. To make the pair, I'm going to need lengths of wire five and a half inches long. Put that on the side. I'll also need to construct two coils. And how many loops around are those coils? One, two, three, four, five. So let's make the coils now. This way we're ready to go. The way I make the coil is I'll cut a length of wire. This tool makes it easy to do this hold it in place and I'll wrap the wire around the nail one two three four five you know what I'm gonna go one more six slide it off I take my cutting pliers position it on the very first loop so I'm using the absolute tip of the plier being very careful not to cut into the second loop and I cut off the excess I save it I don't throw it out this wire could come in handy for something else I never throw anything out now I'll take my plier Position it just like I did. And I'll cut it. The last thing I do with the loop that I just made in order to finish it off is I put it back on my tool. And I take my pliers, any pair of pliers, this time I'm using my, my cutters, and I press down just to squeeze the coils into one another and make a nice tight coil. You know, I might have enough from this excess that I cut off to make the next one. So let's see. I'm holding it in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. I went seven and I'll be able to trim it down to the size that I need. I'll press it like you saw me do in the other one. 
Now I take my cutter, position it, snip off the excess, snip off the excess. How many loops around do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is one, two, three, four, five. I want them to be identical, so I'm going to remove a loop from this one. Nice. And I have a jump ring that I could save for something else. My coils are made. I'll put them on the side. Now to begin the Egyptian link. We measured our wire five and a half inches. You can go smaller to make daintier earrings, but I wouldn't go much under five inches. I find that it, you don't get an adequate size spiral when you do that. And the spiral is the beauty of this link. Now, in order to begin construction of the Egyptian link earrings, we're going to break it down into a series of steps. The first link that we're going to actually make is this one over here. That's why I needed to prepare my coils. And then we're going to attach these two. And finish it off with the uh, ear wire. The method of creating the pair of earrings is to break it into a series of steps. Now before we actually make, begin to form the actual links, I'll take the two pieces of wire that I've cut to five and a half inches and I'll fold them in half. Wire one folded in half. Put it down and the other piece of wire folded in half. Having done that, I use my needle nose pliers to establish the top loop. I'll position the wire, the bent wire, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch down from the tip of the needle nose pliers. So I'm using a relatively narrow part of the plier to create the top loop of the link. Then I'll take my flat nose and crimp the wire. So what I've done, so you've got to play with it a little bit to straighten things out. But what I've done is I've made that nice top loop. Now we'll do it again. Let's put this, let's put this back on the plier. I, I want to um, suggest something. It might be helpful to mark the exact position of that with a pen. This way, you know exactly where to line up the second piece of wire. Having done that, I'll grab the wire with my plier right against that mark. And crimp it using my flat nose pliers. So at this stage of the game, all we've done is this. I have two pieces of wire with the top loops formed. Now we need one more to make the first earring. Remember, five and a half inches of wire. Fold the wire in half. Line it up against the mark that you made on your round nose plier and crimp it. You might also want to make sure the ends are even. This one isn't. No big deal. I can trim off that excess. How do these look? Huh. 
little unevenness in the mall. So I'll just trim off the excess. Oh, this one is really uneven. Huh. It's early in the morning. That's my problem. Okay. So. We have three pieces of wire. We have our coil. And we're ready to go. To start, we're going to begin with the last link in the earring. And then we're going to attach each individual new link to that link and work our way up. The earrings that you're about to make can be as long and dangly as you want. There is no need to stop at three. You can make it five, six. I mean, it's personal choice. But the way I like to end it is this way. So let's, let's get into it. Insert the coil onto the two extended pieces of wire that come out from the loop. Now, using the same method that you do in making the Egyptian link, I'm going to start to wind the wire upwards. I grab the wire with my flat nose plier and begin to create the spiral. This will take a little practice. Hold the wire firmly, begin turning it up. If you've done, never done this before, if this is the first time, it takes getting the feel. But you will get it. it may not come instantly, but after you've made a few, you'll get it. I've never seen someone not eventually get it. So, I'm going to turn it up and up. Working my way to the top. Just about there. What do you think? That's nice. Nice distance from the top to there. So I'll stop. And I repeat that. So, let's get close so you can see what I'm doing. Grab the tip of the wire. Bend it. After I bend it, I crimp it even further to make a nice tight coil. That's my preference. Yours doesn't have to be nearly as tight. Then using the flat part of my plier, I grab it and start to spiral it up. It's impossible for me to verbalize how to do this. You just have to go for it. You know, I should add something at this stage of the game. And when I make a pair of earrings, I make both halves at the same time. So rather than continue this one earring to completion, what I really should do is cut up more wire and make another one of these. The reason why I do that then is I can measure each part of the earring up against, easily measure each part of the earring up against its companion part to make sure they're identical. This helps maintain nice symmetry with the earrings. So before I continue, I'll prepare the material for the, the other half of this pair. I'm back. What I did while the camera was off is I cut up more wire so I have enough now for a complete pair of earrings and I made another one of these 
the beauty of doing it before you attach everything is they're easy to measure one up against each other these are fairly identical in size now so i'm ready to continue how do we continue i'm going to i'm going to make the additional links If you viewed the Egyptian link necklace, how to make the Egyptian link necklace, you know how to do this. To move on to the next step, I place my pliers at the base of the loop, right at the base of the loop. Can you see that? Yeah. And I bent my wire to create a rounded but 90 degree curve. That's what you want. Look at that. That's exactly how you want that to look. Let's do it again. I take my pair of pliers, put it at the base of the loop. I'll bend the wire to achieve a rounded or a curved corner that is 90 degrees. Here, why not do it all? Take another one, position the pliers at the base of the loop, give it the 90 degree curved bend. And I had already done this one. So, we're ready to move on to the next stage. Made the bottom link for the pair of earrings. Now I'm gonna make the additional links and then attach them to complete the earring. So what do we do? Wire that we've bent into position, giving it the gentle 90 degree turn, using our flat nose jewelry pliers, I grab the tip of the wire and I bend it tightly. Having done that, then I clamp down on it and I start to ratchet it up. Just about there. What is that? That looks like it's approximately a half inch from the in initial loop that we created. So I'll go to the other side, grab it with my pliers, and begin to ratchet it up. I like to create these nice tight coils, but I've seen students work with loose ones and they're equally beautiful. So it's, it's personal preference whether you want a tight looking link or a looser link. Nice. Okay. Put that aside. Repeat the step. We have the bent wire. Position our flat nose at the tip. And begin to ratchet it. See how I play with it? I finesse it a bit. I make sure it's bending right. So I'm not only working with the spiral that's in formation, but I'll move around. And that looks good. That's nice. So we do it again.
you've just watched me make two links and I will line them up against one another to make sure they're relatively the same size. The final stage is to attach the bottom link to the other two to complete your earrings. So, we take this Egyptian link in formation that has the necessary 90 degree bend and we insert it into the first link that you made, the link that has the coil. Having done that, having inserted it like that, I take my flat nose pliers, hold the two spirals firmly in place, and with my thumb, I press down the loop to get a nice curved bend. Now before I bend it any further, I'm going to take the next link that I made, the second one, and insert that into the loop. See how I'm doing that? Loop attaches to loop. Sometimes you got to spread it a little bit with your fingernails. Now, take my nice, smooth, flat nose pliers, hold what I've created firmly in the jaws, and I bend that one down. Where are we with this? We have attached all of our links, but now, to complete it, they need to be compressed more. Don't use your pliers for this job. What I like to do is hold it with my hands and between my thumb and my forefinger, squeeze them down what I'm talking about. I'll pick up the earring and just press it. Same thing here. Just press it. You can actually, if you need added support with the last one, if you were making an Egyptian link necklace, I would never recommend a pair of pliers at this stage of the game. I would want you just to squeeze it with your, your finger. You may need to hold that a little bit more firmly. I will not use pliers to bend down any of these. I want to maintain a nice gentle curve. Pliers will, will have a tendency to create a much sharper curve if you squeeze it with pliers. That is it. One half of a pair of earrings. As you can see, I've completed the first half of this pair of earrings. Apparently, I used a slightly longer length of wire than I did and this one over here. This one is made out of sterling silver. This is made out of nickel silver. That's five and a half inches of wire. I bet that's about five inches of wire. You could go down to possibly four and a half inch, but I wouldn't do any anything less than that. To finish it, you want to attach your, your wire. How do I attach the ear wire? How do you open the ear wire? But to open up the ear wire that you see here. I swing the wire from side to side and I open it that way. Then I place my ear wire into the top loop making sure that the ear wire is facing the right direction and I close it. There we have it. They are larger. Some people prefer smaller. Some people prefer larger than that. And I've had students go crazy with this end and add four, five, and so on. I sort of prefer the more delicate, smaller versions to the longer versions, but it's personal choice. Now I'm going to go ahead and complete the other half and then we'll take a, one last look at the, um, the pair before we end this video. That's it. I made the second half. They're mounted on their ear wires and they're ready to be worn. I hope you enjoyed watching the video on how to construct 
pair of Egyptian link earrings. And just, just keep in mind that it does require practice. If you don't get it the first time, don't worry about it. Just continue to make the individual links, and eventually it'll all come together.